In the heart of the city, standing tall and menacing, lies the infamous Tower of London. This formidable fortress has worn many hats throughout its thousand-year history. It's been a grand royal palace, a treasury for the crown jewels, and perhaps most chillingly, a prison and site of execution. Its stone walls have witnessed the beheading of queens and the imprisonment of princes. Anne Boleyn, the ill-fated second wife of Henry VIII, is said to roam the tower's corridors, her ghostly figure son's head. The young princes in the tower, their fate one of history's most enduring mysteries, are also reported to be permanent residents. These stories, among many others, have earned the Tower of London the title of one of the most haunted places in the United Kingdom. This isn't just a place where history has been made, but where it continues to live and to haunt. The Tower of London, a place where history and horror intertwine, leaving a spine-chilling legacy. Moving north, we find ourselves at Highgate Cemetery, a place of peace, beauty and an eerie sense of unease. This Victorian Gothic masterpiece is more than just a final resting place. It's a silent testament to the past, a place where the famous and the ordinary lie side by side. Karl Marx, George Eliot, Douglas Adams, they all found their last home here. But this isn't just a cemetery. It's a setting for legendary tales and supernatural occurrences. The most chilling among them, the Highgate Vampire, a spectre said to roam the graveyard under the cloak of night. Visitors have reported seeing ghostly apparitions and feeling an uncanny presence, especially as twilight falls and the cemetery sinks into shadows. The stone angels watch over the graves, their faces weathered by time. The ivy creeps up the mausoleums, wrapping them in a green embrace. The air is thick with the scent of damp earth and the whispers of a thousand stories. Highgate Cemetery, a spectral sanctuary that whispers tales of the past and the undead. Our final destination takes us to the Queen's House in Greenwich, a seemingly serene site with a terrifying tale. This elegant edifice, once a royal residence, now serves as an art gallery, but its masterpieces are not its only attractions. The Queen's House is also home to the infamous Tulip Staircase Ghost, captured in a photograph by Rev. R. W. Hardy. This spectral figure, along with other ghostly apparitions, has been reported by visitors, adding a chilling layer to its rich history. The mystery surrounding these sightings is as intriguing as it is unnerving, with many a visitor reporting a spine-tingling sensation, as if the walls of the house itself hold the secrets of its spectral inhabitants. Despite its tranquil facade, the Queen's House is a place where beauty and terror intertwine its peaceful appearance belying the eerie occurrences within. The Queen's house, a beautiful facade hiding a chilling secret.